Hi, this is Mario and welcome to Awesome Audio. In this video we will talk about the mathematics used for frequencies of musical notes. You may have imagined that the frequencies of musical notes increase linearly. However, the increment of musical notes frequency is exponential. That is, the numerical difference between the notes frequency is larger in the higher notes than in the lower notes, as observed in the graph where we have the notes in the horizontal axis and the frequency in the vertical axis. Why does it happen this way and not linearly? We can verify it visually. Here we've got a 300 Hz wave and a 600 Hz wave. The difference between these two waves is very clear. However, we can't see much difference between these 2300 Hz and 2600 Hz waves, even though they also have a difference of 300 Hz. This also occurs when listened to. A clear difference is heard between the first two waves, which is a difference of exactly one octave. While in the second pair, the difference is of a whole tone, which is much less than an octave. Another form of verifying it is with a frequency sweep, or a chirp, which is basically a wave whose frequency increases continuously. We will perform two sweeps from 100 Hz to 2000 Hz. If the first sweep is done linearly, that is, with frequencies increasing as shown in the graph, it would sound like this. You may have noticed that the low tones seem to pass by really quickly and we mostly heard higher tones. Now, if we make the sweep with the frequencies increasing exponentially, as shown in the graph, it will sound like this. Notice that it sounds more natural? This is because the exponential increase compensates for the logarithmic response of our ear. With logarithmic, I refer to that effect where we perceive higher difference between low values than high values, just like in the example we just performed, which is the opposite of an exponential behavior. That's why acoustic quality tests, such as a frequency response, are done with an exponential increment in the frequency sweep, and are plotted with a logarithmic scale in the frequency axis. In the tuning system called equal temperament, which is the one commonly used in Western music, the ratio between the frequency of a note and the next semitone is the twelfth root of two which equals this number. In a few moments you will see it is not such a weird number as it seems. This means that if you have the frequency of a musical note and you multiply it by this number, you find the frequency of the next semitone. For example, if you multiply the frequency of A4, which is 440 Hz, by this number, you will get 466.164 Hz, which is the frequency of B flat 4. And for the previous semitone, you divide. If you have the frequency of F4, which is 349.228 Hz, and you divide by the 12th root of 2, you get 329.628 Hz, which is the frequency of E4. If you multiply the frequency of a note by 1.059463094 three times, or that number cubed, you get the frequency of the note three semitones higher. Here comes my favorite. If we have the frequency of a note, and we want to find the frequency of the note 12 semitones higher, that is, one octave, you would have to multiply the frequency of the first note by the twelfth root of two twelve times, right? Because with each multiplication, you go up one semitone. Multiplying by the same number twelve times would be the same as multiplying by that number to the twelfth power, so here we simplify. And when we have a power and a root with the same values, they neutralize, so we remove the twelfth power with the twelfth root. The multiplier we are left with is two. And we had already said in the previous video that the frequency of the same note in the next octave is its frequency multiplied by 2, didn't we? That is the origin of the 12th root of 2. This number basically tells us that for each 12 semitones, we get double the frequency. For those who feel like calculating frequencies of musical notes, here are a few formulas. In any of the first two, you replace n with the piano key number on an 88 key piano, where a0 is key number 1, and you go up in keys by semitones and when you solve it, you get the frequency. The first formula can actually be interpreted. You begin based in A4, whose frequency is 440 Hz, and it is key number 49. When I said that the frequency of musical notes is calibrated to A4 in the previous video, this is what I was referring to. The frequency of all musical notes are calculated starting on the frequency of A4, which is standardized to 440 Hz. We know that the 12th root of 2 to a certain power represents increases or decreases in semitones and the power is n minus 49 because we will simply go upwards from A4 or downwards if the power turns out to be negative. This is because a number to a negative exponent is the same as dividing. For example, 
Multiplying by a number to the power of negative 1 is the same as dividing by that number, and multiplying by a number to the power of negative 2 is dividing by that number squared. And we know that dividing by powers of the 12th root of 2 moves us back toward the lower notes. In the third formula, which is simply any of the first two solved for n, we replace f with the note's frequency. And when solved, we get the approximate key number. With that, we conclude this episode. In the next one, we will talk about alternate tuning systems and what it means to tune to 432 Hz. If you enjoyed it, you may hit like, leave a comment, and share to those interested. For more content like this, you may also subscribe. See you in the next video.